In this lesson I will teach you a great method to make facial skin look softer. First, we'll need to copy the previous layer we were working on. I emphasize that the part of softening the face should be done only after we have cleaned the dirt from the face. To copy the layer I click on it, then Ctrl plus J I now change the name of the layer. It is not necessary, but it is convenient for me to work in such a way. I call this layer smoothing. To remind you, to change the name I double click the name of the layer, not the square that shows the view, or I right click and select layer properties. Now, make sure you are standing on the new layer, and press Ctrl plus I. The result looks like a horror movie character, but don't worry, we'll fix it soon. Now go to the menus located at the top of the software and click on Filter. Scroll down to Other and select High Pass. Change the value to 24 and click OK. Now the result looks even worse, but do not worry, we'll fix it in a moment. Go again to the menus at the top of the software, Filter, Blur. From the list that opens, select Gaussian Blur. Change the value to something between 3 and 4 and click OK. I want to choose 3. Now, in the Layers window, at the top, is a box that says Normal. Open it. From the list that opens, click on Vivid Light. You will see that the image becomes blurry but already colorful. Now we will add a mask. To do so, click on the icon at the bottom of the Layers area, which looks like a white rectangle with a black circle inside it. You will see that in the layer we are working on, next to the square that shows the view, another square is added. If it's black, fine. If it is white, click on it and then press Ctrl plus I. What it does is turn the color from white to black. A brief explanation of masks a mask is the area we see in the end result. I mean I can paint an entire screen white, but if I put a circle-shaped mask on it, all I will see will be just the circle. The white areas in the mask are the areas I see, and the black areas are the invisible areas. We want the mask to be completely black, so that nothing of this layer is visible on the screen. Now, select a brush tool. You can do this by pressing Ctrl plus B. Above our work screen, you will see a row that contains all sorts of properties. Look for the flow and change the value to something like 25. The lower the value, the more subtle the effect will be. To make the skin realistically soft we need to work gently, so it is worth choosing a low value, as I said, around 25. Now all you have to do is paint on the areas that need softening inside. Some notes. First of all make sure you choose the mask of the layer we created. Not the layer itself. To do this simply click on the mask and you will see that it is highlighted. Second, if you want to make a certain area softer than others, you can just paint on it with the brush twice or you will simply increase the value of flow. One more thing, do not paint on the whole face. Draw only on areas that are supposed to be soft in reality. In men there will be fewer of these, and in women most of the face should be softer. You can also smooth out wrinkles in this way. This is how it looks before and after, including the cleaning we did in the previous lesson for all the dirt inside. Thank you for watching.